Welcome back gainers, this is Zach here from Comic Gains. Doing a solo video today. We forgot to shoot a video for Wednesday. Instead of doing a top five cover, cover artist, cover character, we're gonna do a five pro tip, pro tip. Pro. These are five tips that you can use at any Comic Con, big or small. So guys and gals, stay tuned. Tip number one, arrive early. The early bird gets the worm guys, as they say, especially with comic conventions. You get there early, you get the first choice picks, and the smaller the con, the more important it is. If it's a one-day convention, two days, get there the first day. There might not be any more people showing up on the second day. So all the gains, all the awesome books you could possibly pick up would be snatched up by someone else. You'll get left with what's left, and you might not want that. Arrive early. And especially if you can actually get in before the doors open which you can with early access or being actual deal with it there. Some conventions do not let you buy books from dealer to dealer before the actual convention opens up. I don't know if it's a rule or not, but it's certain ones that it's frowned upon it so you don't do it. Not worth it. So that's a great way. A few examples here. We found a first High Evolutionary. We found the first Cameo Living Tribunal. And we got a screaming deal. First three minutes of this smaller convention, great convention. We walked into this person, saw in a box. We buy the box. We look through the box. And we found that beauty right there. Tip number two. When you go into any dealer stations, guys, your first instinct is to look at the back wall. Back wall is important. But if it's early in the con and you just want to dig, go to the books below the top Wrong. So go below, go under the table if they have books under the table because it's slightly inconvenient to get to. So there will be less people that look through them. So you can find some great keys. I have found it. Other people have found it. And it's amazing, guys. It's You can find so much, so much great stuff. Consider doing that. And also places that would be a little awkward to get to, you know, like, hey, you have to get pet behind the counter look through it maybe it's a box of cgc stuff maybe it's a box of raw stuff ask the persons that's behind the counter behind all the boxes what's going on with that box oh it's this and this oh can i look through it they might say yes you might find some gems i've done that before and uh sometimes it works sometimes they like it's actually a hundred dollars more than what i wanted to pay so yeah someone's getting those games look through boxes and places that would be slightly inconvenient or maybe a little bit more convenient within reason guys don't just push someone out of the way rip open a random box and say hey a box is like literally closed and you have to take a knife to open it you know it might not be a great idea tip number three is to wait to the last day this is specifically for bigger conventions, but it can work with a smaller convention, one or two days, that would be towards the end of the day. Towards the end of the day, or at a bigger convention, the last day. And that's to actually go for the wall books, guys. The bigger books. Because by the end of the fourth day, or the end of the day, depending on how much they had to pay for that booth, it could be within their interest to sell books at a slightly lower price, or significantly lower price just to pay for that and pay for their employees and pay for all the expenses that they have incurred some people do crazy well and they feel very generous and gives you deals other people do not so well and you're helping them out by buying some books at a fair price for you at least and hope you fair for that you don't want to screw anybody consider that last day you can get some really really good deals I promise you tip number four you'll hear a lot of people say this a lot of people make bundle deals, guys and gals. Bundle deals will get you a massive amount of gains. You get a stack of books this thick, guys, this. About the size of a sandwich I'm going to probably eat in a few minutes. Whatever. You get a bundle like this, guys, and say, hey, you have all this marked for 150 or whatever amount, take 30% off or take 20% off or take this and this. Be a lot more expensive to buy them individually, whereas you buy them as a bundle and you get a bundle deal. Arguing a deal on a book that's $10 to that take $2 off, $5 off, they might not be in their motivation to do that. But a stack like that or a stack like of money like this can sell it to you for a reduced price. It's a classic bundle deal. Love it. Love those bundle deals. And the last tip, it's not the only tips, guys, out there. There's massive amounts of tips. 
If you guys and gals know any tips I did not mention, comment down below. Let us know about those tips, guys. Uh, sharing is caring, as they say. Final tip, tip five, is buy con exclusives if they have them. And I'm not saying just buy any whatever one that you see. You have to have some kind of connection to it. It's really cool. Something that really pops. I bought this con exclusive, I think at my, it was close to the beginning of when I started going to conventions. I bought this one at Emerald City Comic Con. I believe it's a Jenny Frison exclusive, limited to a thousand or less. And I have her signed it. I didn't buy it expecting it to be worth a bunch of money. And it turned out it is worth a little bit of money. So that's pretty great. But yeah, con exclusives can sell like hotcakes, guys or they're just hit your eye and you want to keep them in your collection forever, like I did here. So take it, consider some of the con exclusives, Funko exclusives, comic exclusives, all of the exclusive guys, because there might be someone that would want those exclusives at an inflated price if you wanted to sell them. And also consider newsstands. As you know, I always talk about newsstands, I'm crazy about newsstands. Sometimes, it's not really making any sense to do it. It's not, it doesn't make a lot of sense to do it because in certain eras, direct edition actually is underprinted and newsstands overprinted. So it doesn't always make sense to buy the newsstand, but maybe it does, who knows. And for a good example is this is a newsstand and it's first Darth Krayt or the character that eventually becomes Darth Krayt found out for a buck. Keep an eye out for that book, guys and gals. I'm telling you, big big explosive value. And that's my five pro tips for you to use at your next upcoming Comic Con and future cons. And like I said before, if you have any pro tips I missed, comment down below. Tell me some of your stories about your big fives by using this tip or that tip and you know, just a tip and everybody getting tips. So gainers, like those five tips, love those five tips. Like, comment, and if you haven't already subscribed, hit that notification bell, because to be notified is to be in the know of those gains. And how you get those gains is that you gotta get share. And how you do that is go to a convention and buy comic books for a great deal. Later gainers. Boo!